Let's go over messaging in Onores. Messaging consists of system messages, system alerts, email templates and triggers, autoresponders, and custom field definitions. You can find all these by clicking Settings, then under Messaging, select one of the following. Let's take a look at system messages. System messages are emails that get sent out to guests when specific actions occur. Here you see what the messages are, when they are sent out, the status if they're enabled or disabled, and if they use a custom template. The action button on the right allows you to preview each of these, for instance, the send billing info request form to guests, and you can preview what the guests will see when it gets sent to them. Other things you can do with the action button or completely turn off the system message, or you can change it and use an existing template. If you click Change Message, it'll bring you to a window where you can edit the message, then click Save and Close. There are quite a lot of system messages, and all of the messages that have something under Sent When, such as Security Deposit is Due, will allow the message to automatically be sent out. Some system messages, like this one, send review form to guests, are not automatically sent out. These are specifically in place for you to use as a template. If you'd like this to be sent out automatically, simply go over to the Action button, click Change Message, then scroll down. Here we see the default template for that system message. Let's go ahead and leave it as is and save and close. Now when we scroll back down, we see the template we just saved. If we'd like this to be sent out automatically, we can set a trigger for it. If we go on the left under Messaging and go to Triggers, we can click Create New Trigger, then select that email template, Send Review Form to Guests, then we'll change this to at a scheduled time. Let's make this one day after the booking has departed. We'll leave everything else as it is and click Save. Now that system message will automatically be sent out. There are different types of system messages as well. The ones we were going over before were booking messages. You also have inquiry messages, lease messages, payment messages, quote messages, refund messages, and security deposit messages. These all can be edited or turned off in the same way by clicking the action button. Let's take a look at system alerts. System alerts are messages that the system sends you when a certain action occurs. These can be turned off and previewed. We'll go ahead and preview this one. This is for when a booking is created. This is what the alert will look like when it gets sent to you. There are booking alerts, lease alerts, payment alerts, refund alerts, and security deposit alerts. If there is an alert that you'd rather not receive, you can click the action button and turn off. If you'd like to undo that, click it again and click turn on. Now let's take a look at email templates. Email templates are messages that you can send out to guests automatically with triggers. There are many different types of email templates. There are blocked off time templates, booking, inquiry, lease, owner statement, payment, quote, refund, and security deposit. Most of the time you'll be creating a booking template. Here you see you can give the email template a name, you'll add a subject, and in this box you can write the message to the guest. Here we see the default message already has some field codes. The first will bring in the guest's first name, this brings in the property name, and this brings in your first name. You can always insert more field codes by clicking the Insert Field button. Here you'll see Account Field Codes, Booking Field Codes, Property Field Codes, and Utility Field Codes. All of these have useful codes to pull in specific information. For instance, if you wanted to add the current date to the email, you could simply insert this. Now if we preview the email, we'll see our first name and today's current date. You can easily add things like check-in and check-out times. Simply write check-in, then go to insert field, go to the bookings tab, then insert the arrival date field code. Now if we click preview, we'll see it has inserted the arrival date for this booking. 
Let's go ahead and click cancel. When you create an email template, such as a welcome email, you will need to set up a trigger for it. Otherwise, it will not be sent out. If we go down under messaging and click triggers, then click create trigger, here's where you can set all the criteria for when you want the email template to be automatically sent out. You can select which template you want. We'll go ahead and select this welcome template. You can easily set whether you want it to be as an event occurs or at a scheduled time. For something like a welcome packet, maybe you'd want it to be sent out seven days before the booking has arrived. You can also add other booking criteria and select things like which property it applies to or a specific season. Another useful feature to note is the forecast button. This shows you all the future emails that will be sent out using the triggers you have set. Here we see for booking Joe Blow, who arrives on the 25th, we'll have the welcome email sent to him on the 18th. Let's take a look at autoresponders. Autoresponders are used to reply to incoming inquiries automatically. You can click Create Autoresponder, and here you have some options. You have for inquiries that are available and quotable, for inquiries that have unavailable dates, and for inquiries that violate rules. You can select whether or not you want the system to automatically respond, and you can select an email template. You can create inquiry email templates the same way we showed earlier. You can select things like if commented, still respond, or do nothing, and you can also check also send quote. Below, you have some criteria. You can select the property, the listing site, and if you want it sent out during a specific time period. You also have the option of sending to the double-blind email address. You can also give this a priority. The highest number gets first priority. Now let's look at custom field definitions. You can create a field definition by clicking the Create Field Definition button. Here you can create your own field codes. This is useful for pulling in things like door codes. There are different types of field definitions, booking, property, and account. If you wanted to create a door code, you would set it as property. Then you'd give it a name, door code, and set the merge code, which must be in all caps, to door code with no spaces. You can set rich text if you'd like, but we're going to leave this off for now. Let's click Save. Now if we want to implement this into an email template, simply go to Email Templates, create a new booking email template, We'll just call this door code and we'll give it the subject door code. We'll go ahead and add a space, go to insert field, click the properties tab, then scroll down. Here you'll see the custom field we just created, door code. You can click insert and now if you click the preview button, you won't see anything show up. That's because we haven't set it under the property. First we'll save this, then go to Properties, select the property, then go to Custom Fields. Here we see the door code field we just set up. You can click Change and enter the door code. Now if we click Save, then go back to Settings, Email Templates, select the door code email template, and click Preview, we now see the door code shows up. You can also manually send out emails to bookings. Simply go to the Bookings tab, select the booking, then go to the Email tab. Here we see information about all the emails that will be sent out or have already been sent out. If there is a scheduled email that will be going out soon, you can choose to skip this or send now. If you click that, you have the option of editing the email before it goes out or simply send the email immediately. If we click Send Now, we'll see that the status shows that it was sent on July 6, and you can click right here to view the email sent. If we go back to the Bookings tab, select a different booking, then go to the Email tab, you can also compose a new email. You can write whatever you'd like in the subject, write whatever you'd like in this box, then click Send Email. 
You can view all the emails sent to a booking by clicking right here where it says search for all emails sent or received for this booking. Here we see we've only sent that one email and you can click in and see what was sent. Lastly, if you have the Airbnb channel connected, you can click CRM and then go to Airbnb messages. Here's where all your Airbnb messages will show. You can easily click into each and reply just like you normally would in the Airbnb Messaging Center. That is a brief overview of messaging and Onores.